Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to the greenhouse. I hope this video finds you well today. I am just in love with this new Phalaenopsis. So what I want to show you, I'm just going through the greenhouse doing some watering and I noticed a couple of things that I just wanted to share with you really quick. And I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. Look at this leaning tower of purple passion. So I think I'm going to stake her up and probably take off a top cutting and propagate it so that way she gets a little bit more bushy instead of leaning tower on us. But something I noticed today, because I like to check on my flower spikes, probably on like a daily basis. And you know, my Sherry Baby flower spike that I found when I was doing the um, repotting video, something's been chewing on it. And that section is so thin that the flower spike was bending over. So I did stake it up in hopes that it continues to grow for me and I get some flowers out of that sherry baby. So, you know, I did find a flower spike on this in Cyclia. It's a bag baby from Better Grow. And there's another flower spike right there. And my bread run orchid is spiking on this new growth right here. Let's get her down so you can see better. Yeah, there's a flower spike in there. So this seems to be a pretty reliable bloomer. Every new growth is sending out a spike and there's two leads, like two ways that it's growing. It's going to the left and to the right. And so far its growth pattern is as soon as one side is spiking, it starts sending up a new growth on the far opposite side. And then that one spikes and it sends up another growth on the far opposite side. Yeah. My alocasia green velvet is sending out two flowers. So yes, I am going to try to pollinate it and get some berries from it. We'll see how that goes though. I don't have my hopes up. I'm going to bamboo stake my micans today and let it start climbing up a pole. And the last thing I want to show you guys is my philodendron silver cloud is sending up one, two, three, four, five new growths. And I think the reason why it's doing that is because I did propagate a top cutting and I think propagating, like chopping off a top cutting, like just sent the plant into overdrive and it's sending out all kinds of new growths. So I'm super excited about that because I'm going to be sending a cutting of it once it matures. Some of those cutting, some of those new growths mature, I'm going to be sending a cutting of it to a friend of mine. So yeah, that's about it, you guys. Happy growing. Stay safe till next time.